Shorts, how you doing? And welcome back to A1 Trading. In today's video, we're going to talk about our gold and silver outlook for the week ahead. If you do like the video and like the analysis here, make sure you hit that like button. If you've not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. All right, let's get into the video. So if we start off with gold here, gold has been quite a messy chart for quite some time, probably in this section here. It's been relatively messy. You know, we've pushed up, we rejected, come back down. We had a decent uptrending market for a while, pushed through, immediately rejected, push on again, immediately rejected, push on again, and immediately rejected. So in terms of technical bias from this standpoint, or should we say from this area here, it was hard to give a proper bias. If we take a look at the daily, the daily looked a little bit cleaner, holding roughly around this trend line, moving to the upside. However, on Friday, we had this big bearish bar, which obviously coincided with a big bullish bar on the DXY. Remember, we normally expect the DXY and gold to have that inverse relationship. At the moment, we're in pullback zone. We have had a very big bar. The 20 period is here. Gold does like a deeper retracement than most traditional Forex pairs. So what I would be looking for in gold, specifically on this four hour chart, is essentially a reason to enter short. Our bias at the moment has to be short because of this bar broken through structure here. Yes, we're coming back up, but we're in pullback mode at the moment. Nothing is telling me that this wants to rise. Also, nothing is telling me that this wants to fall right now. So what I would be waiting for is an indication from the market, i.e. use your simple chart patterns that gold wants to rise or gold wants to fall. The bias for me is to the downside, but I wouldn't be surprised considering how messy price action has been for the past week, two weeks, something like that on gold, that this comes back up and test this area over here and test this resistance zone here. If we dive a little bit deeper into this daily chart, we can see we've had some bearish bars recently. So as I said, if we put this rough trend line on, we're almost at the point where we're breaking out of it. We've crossed underneath this 200 on the daily, but we are in the middle of this 20 and this 200 moving averages on this daily chart. It looks a little bit bearish because we have one, two, three bearish candles recently, and possibly this is the bend at the end of this recent uptrend. The bias is still longer term on, on gold to the downside. However, I would say there's multiple scenarios. And another one is this, we could get a larger V reversal, come back down for continuation to the downside on gold. The other one is we come up, test this resistance area again before potentially moving to the upside. I would say if you're looking at gold on these smaller time frames, maybe look for a breakout of this channel for continuation. But this pullback does look quite bullish. There's no doubt about it. Um, but I think your four hour chart is probably your best bet. If it breaks and closes above this area, that might be a good sign. So I would consider this, these areas to be quite key. A break, but not only a break from deep, like behind we've got here, but a healthy break to the upside, i.e. potentially something like this, or a healthy break to the downside, potentially something like this, would probably be your safest entries for gold. Until then, personally, I would probably just stay away. It's just a mess. <laughs> now, if we take a look at silver, silver I like a lot better. I think the silver chart is a lot cleaner than gold and it's easier to give a bias because of how price action looks. So recently, We've had impulse, corrective, impulse, corrective, impulse, corrective, impulse. We've created our downtrending anchor here, and we've just retested that anchor at this section here. We've created a larger V reversal, which for me is a good pre-breakout pattern. And this area is key because if we break above here, technical or technical theory dictates that we have established a higher high and therefore we're changing from a downtrend potentially to an uptrend. So with silver, what I personally am looking for, and this is on my watch list, is we've created our V reversal. I'm looking for a deeper corrective to digest this impulse to the upside. Remember healthy trends, push up, correct, push up, correct, push up. So we're looking for a digestion period. We can use that simple 20 for that. Price action catches up with that for movement. Tag this area again, another little reload before breakout to the upside. Ideally, you'd probably get a larger structure where that 200 is starting to curl over. So your breakout is above that 200 MA on this daily chart. 
that I think would be a really nice inclination that silver wants to change trend because a breakout here is a trend change and potentially move to the upside. So the risk reward in that trade I think is quite good and it's something that I will personally be watching. If we take a look at the four hour chart, the four hour chart again looks quite nice. We come from this movement, broke out of this area, retested this area and we pushed on at the moment looks to be in this corrective. So we can see the difference between silver and gold. This is obviously a much cleaner chart and something I'd rather trade than looking at that gold chart and try to pick the bias from that price action, which I don't think there is one. But silver here, if you get a breakout of this area, it might be a decent entry for continuation longs, i.e. breakout retest of that trend line for continuation wrong longs. And I think that has to be your bias. This is nice. It's, it's now digested this impulse and certainly for me, it looks ready to move. So silver certainly bias for me is to the upside. You're getting a slight break on smaller time frames now. Um, I would be happy with an entry either on that four hour break from structure here or potentially waiting a little bit more for this larger setup to, to um, present itself for a longer term trade for taking silver back to the upside rather than continuing with this longer term downtrend, changing trend, movement to the upside. So yeah, my bias would be to probably stay away from gold at the moment. If you like silver a little bit better, focus on that. But again, make sure whatever you're trading fits your strategy because that is the most important thing. All right, guys, if you did like the video, make sure you hit that like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in more free gold and silver analysis, check the links to the telegram down below. If not, I'll see you in the next one. Trade safe. Peace. What's up guys? Thanks for watching today's video. There are more videos available on our channel here and here. So go ahead and click into that for some more free trading content. With that said, thanks for watching. We'll see you back next time.